Alright, what's good y'all boys, and this video is going to be about backup south chargers for Beastmaster Durzang. And it's going to be just like north chargers, but you're going to add tanking Beastmaster for a very short time. So at 9-10 seconds in, these chargers will spawn in along with Beastmaster Durzang. And you would just click on the open, open small cage once. And you would click out just a little bit like this, and then run west. And you would see all the other chargers cages being open. So now you would meet up with the north chargers. And you know you can grid a chain, tsunami, or grid a chain and omni to get rid of them all. Corruption shot is really good here if you're using magic. And this role is, is, is fairly easy and fairly simple. So what we are doing is we're just getting rid of the chargers now. And there's one more left, so we're just going to get rid of that. And what we're going to do is stand in this little corner right here. And we're going to burst down Beastmaster Durzag to about 750,000. And the other DPS is going to kill Krar and Cormies, or basically the, the other pets. So when 750,000 happens, we're going to provoke a Beastmaster on us. So what you can do is if one little bomb comes next to you, you know, disarm it to help the team out. So we're getting close to 750,000. And you see how the, the debuff bar on Beastmaster is there. So yeah. So what we did, we had provoked him and... Having Raid's armor helps out so much because you see how the defensives reprocked. So don't let it get to four stacks before like freedom at three stacks and basically barricade, reflect, and and resonance, and you should be good. Devotion also helps. And that's basically it. Alright, so this part is about Yakamaru and North Tank. So when the images of Yakamaru start to spawn, which is basically Mirage phase, you would head to the North Pool, where the Sand Pool and the Stun Pool are. So you would basically just stand in the middle, you would attack the Sand Pool and provoke the Stun Pool. So you can see here how they had bursted it down very fast, but we had to repeat it. So you can see more of how to use defensives, freedom the stacks, debilitate. So you can see me, I'm trying to get back my aggro from Stunpool. So you can see how we're still bursting it down. And they're trying to figure out how to get back those planks. And you can see it's successful from there. So all now we have to worry about is sand pool. The sand mechanic doesn't happen when there's one person on it. But if there's two people, the sand mechanic happens. So you can see here, I got to tank the jellyfish for a little bit while tanking Yakamaru. The Jelly Wrangler, Wrangler is supposed to help, but you know, we gotta, it is what it is. So you can see another Jellyfish spawn, so I call on the Jelly Wrangler to help. And you can see how they finish the other pool, and while we finish, start finishing the sand pool. But you see how the sand mechanic happened? So now we have to free everybody again while I'm still tanking. So we finish the pool, Put the sand in and then that's basically it that's the whole role right there is just basically tank and survive that whole time and that's it